thermal energy testing of materials. This is a white Portland and salt mixture. Now I didn't let it dry good. It's only been since yesterday. So there's still moisture, but it does seem to hold heat very well. I'm doing a test now. I'm putting it in this little pod insulated with a hole in the lid so I can measure it with the meter and then throwing it outside in the 24 degree temperature. It's 24 outside right now. I'm getting a reading first. It just hit 200 degrees, 93.4 Celsius is 200 plus. The samples inside of here, the pod going out in 24 degrees. This might be it. Sample's been out here in 24 degrees for 35 minutes. Let's see what we got going. It's still doing well. Rock salt. Looks like I opened it upside down, but. White cement. Nine ounces of white Portland cement and nine ounces of rock salt. It's going inside of here. And I think I've got 53 watts. I can't remember how many ohms I ended up with. It works out to be 53 watts on a 39 volt, 24 volt solar panel. Here it is, Salt Creek sand battery. Well, it's not really sand anymore. It's a salt battery. I've got a concrete pod. I should have filmed it inside. It's got one of those element plates, 50 watts. I'm gonna encase this in concrete. I've been having problems with the wires. I think it just gets too hot. So I'm gonna use these stainless straps. Experiment number 500. Okay, I've had a couple of things I've been experimenting with. Now you know about the tile wrapped with the uh, nickel chromium wire from the toaster. I didn't bring the wire. But there's one of those in here. This is my next attempt. So what happened is I started experimenting and looking up materials. And I this is salt and white cement here. And it held, seemed to hold heat very well on a couple experiments I did. So I made this with one of these elements. But I didn't think about the corrosiveness. And it ate the wires and, and probably ate the element itself. It started, it ate through the can and it was just oozing down the side. <laughs> but it got hot fast. And, and the uh, resistance changed. It's dead now. It's... So then I tried this one because I know aluminum uh, transfers heat well. And this is the white cement with salt. <laughs> and inside I had a concrete like this with the element inside, but I had wires, as you can see. And I think all the insulation from the wires melted because there's nothing else in there but stone and, and, and metal. Next attempt, I'm gonna surround this with that salt material. So this is my third attempt on this stuff. I encased all the electronics in regular concrete so it doesn't eat up all the, the materials because this salt eats everything. <laughs> First, I'll fill this up. Now, I should let this set for 28 days. I probably won't let it set that long, but I'm going to have to let it set for quite a while. 
the moisture takes quite a while to get out of this stuff. But this here has only been set up for about a week. So it does harden up good. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? Some salt and white concrete, white cement, Portland. I had this in the worm bin with a 100 watt uh, element. So this inside of this worm bin is working fantastic. It's staying warm all night. <laughs>